Good morning everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you some really neat things you can accomplish with airbrushing with the Copic airbrush system and we're also going to play with a brand new stamp from the Saturday Evening Post line at Cornish Heritage Farms. This is the bird watching stamp and this stamp itself just cries out for a really pretty sunset and it is so easy and quick to achieve with the airbrush system. So I'm going to show you that today. So first off I have my stamp and what I'm going to do is just take some Adirondack espresso ink with my brayer and just roll it onto my stamp. This provides a really nice even coverage of the ink and then you don't get ink pad lines or or things like that. Works really well for detailed stamps. So if you're stamping Thomas Kincaid or the Friendly Critters from Tom Allen or if you're doing the Saturday Evening Post line, this is a great way to lay down some ink. So get it on there nice and thick and then take your Simply Smooth White cardstock and press down and stamp your image. Saturday evening post stamps now come both mounted and unmounted. This is the unmounted version and it's really great for storage saving space. All right, once you think you got it all inked, then lift it up and there you have a really pretty um, bird watching scene. So the, the airbrushing part of this is really quite quick. What I have done is I've created a mask and so a mask for this gentleman here just for, with a post-it note and then you need a mask to separate your kind of horizon line. As you can see I've done this before as my post-it notes kind of have a little bit of ink on them because I've done this a few times with this image. If you're looking for a quick masculine card this is a great way to achieve that. All right now using my uh, airbrush system I'm going to start with the lightest color. Now I've chosen um, the color scheme of Y21, YR23, Y38, RO5 and E08. Just kind of picked some colors that I thought were a great sunset color scheme. So I'll start with my lightest and you want to use your chisel end and I've adapted my airbrush system to fit the chow markers. You just add a couple of foamies there and your chow marker will fit in just right. Now turn my air compressor on You do want to make sure you have your surface well covered um, because this is permanent ink that you're dealing with and you want to just kind of test it out on the paper first to see exactly where you're going to be spraying. All right and then take the upper part of your sky and just lay down some color. It's really quick, really easy. Okay, there's the first color. Now what I want to do is I want to make it a gradually darker color scheme towards the horizon and I also would want to kind of pick where my sun is going to be and I'm thinking that my sun will probably my sun will probably set over here and so I'm going to draw my darkest shades to this corner and then go lighter from there. That's the plan anyway. So I take my next color, the YR23, test it out, and then just start laying in that color. Now because you want it darker in this section, add more ink to this corner and then lighter. Okay, 
Now you can always go back afterwards with these colors and fix it a little more to your liking once you've kind of laid down a base. So next I'm on to Y38. And you can see the difference in the yellows are very subtle. You don't want, you know, huge differences in color because it's quite gradual when you see a sunset in real life. But again, I'm looking to get this corner the darkest and then just kind of lightly spreading out from there. Now, a couple of darker colors that I'm using is R05 and this one as you can see when you test it out, yeah, lots of color. So you want to be really just kind of careful with this one. And see how it e easy it is just to kind of spritz it and it gives such a pretty spray. I just love it. Okay, don't need very much of it. And then my darkest being the E08, which is quite a rust color. I thought would be great for just where that horizon hits. So right at the bottom here, and right around him. Okay, now looking at my image, I can see, well, uh, there's a few spots where I maybe I should have done a little bit more of my base of the yellow. So I'm gonna go back with my YR23 and just smooth out the color a bit. So test it out and then just in areas that you think it needs a little more smoothing out, you can do that. Okay, now you peel off your mask and what a really pretty sunset you can create with this. Now with this uh, image in particular, I noticed, okay, my brown on my, on my chocolate lab didn't quite get as solid as I want him to be. So all you have to do is grab one of your markers. I'll grab E47. And um, because I use the Adirondack Espresso ink, it works really well with, with the Copic marker. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna color in this dog image so that you don't see any of the sunset through him because you certainly don't want that. And it just helps solid up this image a little bit. Now if you want for some finishing touches, which I've done in the past, is add some blue to the water. I'll use B zero 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 and you can just take this to your horizon line there and and add some water it's a real quick fill in if you want to just fill in some water and see how quick that goes you're just swiping on some color it doesn't have to be perfect but it gives you the idea that there's the water there. And it's a nice contrast against your sunset. So a, a few last details I would do that with this is after I'm done my sunset, then I would take my paper trimmer and look at my image and trim it. Okay, so there you go. So there's the completed um, image and I'm just gonna make it into a card. It makes things go really quick and what a great guy card this'll make. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.